Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to share a brand new release by Savivi, which is We Knife's Budget Line. Available to the public as of March 1st, I received the riffle about three weeks prior to its release. So I have spent some time EDCing, using, and fidgeting with the knife, and will share all my thoughts and opinions. This is the base model, which my Carter is the only scaled option in this format. The riffle does come in three different colors, being brown my Carter, dark green, or olive. And just as usual, the olive scales didn't last one full hour before I took them through my method of adding color to my Carter. With a handle length of 4 and 52 hundredths of an inch, the riffle uses a liner locking system. Constructed from a gray stainless steel, the liner has a vast amount of milling, so it's pretty much been skeletonized and definitely aids in overall weight relief on this build. Coming in under a half an inch at 47 hundredths of an inch in thickness, the slim footprint is extremely pocket friendly. The liners are not nested or shadow boxed, but rather slightly exposed on the edges that have been completely rounded. The backspacer is a milled piece of micarta that is anchored by two standoffs and a pin, which all lock into the frame. Extending for only a third of the spine side, if fat, the spacer drops down leaving an area containing a pin, which is a straight out of the back style lanyard hole. And the riffle's pocket clip is right hand, left hand tip up carry. And although the screws are recessed in the clip, the clip itself sits on top of the scales. And I believe this was in order to keep from having that unattractive open milled area. And this is the usual run of the mill clip reissued by Civivi, with the shape of the flared bill being the only noticeable change made. The riffle has two means of deployment. The flipper tab runs at a very low profile. In the closed position, it has jimping running the entirety of the front facing as well as the top side. This provides more than enough grip to use the tab in both a light switch deploy and my favorite, the push button method. The tab is definitely sticky, but in a good way, by no means sharp or annoying and I'm not worried about slipping off this tab. The second means of deploy on the riffle is this oversized thumb hole. Unlike the traditional peel shape or circular deploy hole, this one's geometry is a triangle. In my opinion, way more aesthetically pleasing, especially on this blade shape. In addition, if you play off the angles within the triangle shape and its size, breaking the detent and pulling off finger flicks, even with the thumb, is clearly easier. Sporting a spear point that is 3 and 46 hundredths of an inch in length, the blade has a stone wash finish and has a full flat grind. The material used for the blade is 14C28N with a max of 60 HRC and a blade thickness of 120 thousandths of an inch. The blade runs along ceramic cage bearings and does have a milled race for the bearings to rotate in. The liner being steel, the bearings run directly against the frame, shaving thickness off the build. As we look into the frame from the front side, the internal stop in is clearly visible as I rotate the blade through travel. The overall length of the riffle is 7 and 98 hundredths of an inch, and it weighs in at 3 and 38 hundredths of an ounce. As for my personal thoughts on paper and in pictures, the riffle appears to be a big massive knife. And no, it isn't a short build, but it is very, very slim. And very similar to the Wee Knife era, I stopped buying into the brand. The Kite Fin, the Deacon, and the Vapor, which the Kite Fin wielded 120 thousandths of an inch blade thickness and ran an internal stop pin with a handle thickness of 40 hundredths of an inch. I believe this type of Civivi build can stand next to its big brother in the consumer's eyes and not in Wee's shadow as the cheaper lesser than option. And the riffle is extremely addictive if you're looking for fidget factor. And all this offered at this price point is also hard to beat. The riffle's action is impressive. The lightweight blade flies in a lockup when using either deployment option. The blade is extremely slicey and the steel is quality but won't be a hassle to sharpen. The handle is very neutral and falls into the hand's palm with ease. The micarta definitely has been improved since my last micarta dress Civivi, the hooligan. Although the scales are flat on the sides, the handles have a two-stage step up. And I actually reduced the scales in this area to gain more of a contoured edge feel in the hand. The last notable change, which is one of my pet peeves from Civivi, is the use of the C pivot with a black coated background. I've even seen them use black body screws with one single satin pivot screw. There isn't any black on this build, and it's me being very nitpicky, but it just doesn't fit the build. So I had to change it up a bit, and I believe this fits the overall scheme a bit better. So comment down below with your initial thoughts on the new Riffle by Civivi. Please share the video and hit the like button if you enjoy the content. And sub to the channel for all new uploads.
And with that, I'm signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.